Okay, when is a river too deep to cross? Well, sometimes it's really obvious. Sometimes it's borderline, like this one. And, um, oh, lovely deep kathunky sound. Can't see the bottom. If you can't see the bottom, that's always a worry. Um, it's the sheer volume of water that's moving through here that makes me think, no, it's not worth it. Because what happens is the vehicle goes in, the water actually pressurises underneath the vehicle because it's travelling so fast, and the vehicle is just as likely to float off down the creek. In this case, um, probably wouldn't go very far before it fell over because there's so much water going through. Uh, but it's marginal. This one is really marginal. Other things to look for, you can see the vegetation around the side of the creek. Um, normally, it wouldn't have water covering it. It has today because of all the snow melting everywhere. There's another couple of little subsidiary creeks lead into this. So there's probably twice as much water here as there is just back there, 100 metres. The biggest giveaway for me is there's a set of really big mud tyres here and they're going backwards and out and they've turned around. If you're really not game enough to walk it, you really shouldn't be driving it. A Comet Flat, there's beautiful little places you can camp all over the place and that's what we're going to do. Right here I reckon, it's lovely. <laughs> 